Well, the majority of rural Texas hospitals no longer deliver babies. And boy, that is creating a real hardship for mothers in several parts of Texas, including deep east Texas. They have to drive an hour or more for care or labor and delivery. Women's health reporter for the Texas Tribune, Eleanor Klabanoff, uh, has been following this gaping hole in care and joins us with the details. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I, I was looking at this, and I mean, I, this is coming from someone who had an emergency delivery of one of my babies, I mean, within 30 minutes. And so this is so alarming to me that in this day and age, a mother who's about to have a baby can't even get the care she needs. Um, and this is serious. This could be life or death. That's absolutely true. And it's not just, you know, that emergency delivery, but, you know, getting timely prenatal care, getting, you know, sort of the care you need throughout your pregnancy, you know, that women in rural communities, particularly in Deep East Texas, you know, need more than anyone, you know, due to a lot of pre-existing health conditions. And you talk to so many people. You talk to nurses, you talk to mothers, a retired general practitioner, uh, many more out in East Texas, um, because I, th this, to me, really shows a spotlight. Uh, Jasper Memorial Hospital, they, they basically just stopped staffing for delivering babies. Like, they were like, nope, no more, nope, no more delivering. What did you find out there? What, what did you learn? I mean, you know, it's just part of this larger problem. You know, it's I don't know any rural hospital that wants to stop delivering babies. But, you know, if you can't get the family physicians, you know, Texas has a huge shortage of family physicians to deliver babies in rural communities. Can't get the nurses, you know, after COVID, we obviously have these significant nursing shortages. You know, it just becomes really hard to sort of entice healthcare professionals who are already very in demand to work in these, you know, under-resourced rural communities. It's just a, a massive problem that is only going to get worse, it, it seems like, unless, you know, pretty significant action is taken. Yeah, and I was looking, you know, like, this isn't like just like some small town in Texas. This is a five-county region. I mean, it's larger than the state of Connecticut. So even though it, it sounds like a small town issue, this is a big problem. Right. I mean, this hospital, when it did, you know, close, stop delivering babies, it was the last hospital in the region that was still delivering babies. So you know, it's like decades long decline, you know, free fall of rural health care. So, uh, you know, a lot of attention on the last one was this, but it's part of this larger issue. I mean, imagine, you know, if the state of Connecticut said, you know, we're not going to deliver babies anymore. I think there'd be a lot more outrage than you hear about these regions um, in rural Texas. So true. So true. I, and you're also reporting about the difficulty of teens in East Texas trying to access contraception, uh, sex ed. I mean, these are these are things that are often the first to go whenever there's shortages, right? Right, it's all these intersecting issues. You know, it's hard to access birth control, hard to access women's health care, prenatal care, delivery, and of course, all of this is happening on the backdrop of the large to ban abortion. So it really becomes sort of these intersecting issues that uh, legislators say they're going to take seriously this session, and we'll see what happens on that. Mm. Definitely, definitely needs to, uh, to, something needs to be done, that's for sure. You can read more on the Texas Tribune website. I appreciate the reporting you did here and, and, and all the interviews. Uh, we will uh, post all the details at fox4news.com. Thank you very much.